G'day. Horseflies. Welcome to International Lawn Mowing Day. No, that's not right. If you have a BA Series Ford, like me, and people driving tractors around, and you've experienced them looking for horseflies, dragging brakes like I have, well, I may have the solution for you. Now I did a video a while back, which is in the links and end screen, sorry for looking for horseflies, they hurt, where I replaced the brake discs. Unfortunately in the 12 months since then, I've had to have them skimmed, because I experienced what apparently is quite common, with uh, brakes dragging randomly, in my case. Whereas say you stop at the traffic light and put the thing in neutral, and instead of rolling if you're on a slight incline, what you'll find is they actually, it's like the brakes are binding. Ah, jeez, those things hurt. Oh man, the things I do for YouTube. Whew. So, without further ado, and I'll tell you a little bit more after this, I'll show you the easy fix that seems to be 99% of the problem, and it takes you literally five minutes to do. Before you start, give everything a good clean around the area with the paintbrush. You don't want any crud falling in there. Start by carefully unclipping these brake lines from the firewall. So then carefully unclip this sensor, which is a brake fluid level sensor. Gently pull that plastic part out and unclip that, hang them off to the side. Then get your 12mm spanner, up an end, and loosen those bolts either side. And you probably can't see it too well from here, but Repeat, rinse and repeat as they say. <laughs> Do the same on this side. They're not very tight. This is a good opportunity to check your brake fluid level while you're at it. Which shouldn't be down unless you've got worn brake pads or a leak, which Hopefully you won't have put the nuts safely aside. And while supporting the master cylinder, the reservoir actually, just gently pull it forward and find the best place that you can. Probably a little bit below. There's a fair bit of crud in there. No one seems to really know why. This happens, but it's a very common thing with BA series Fords and apparently territories. So give that a bit of a wipe out, what the hell. You might want to also gently clean inside the master cylinder where the push rod goes, using a cotton bud on a stick moistened with methylated spirits only to get rid of any crud inside. Won't hurt at all. Might as well clean around now too. Okay, so there's the famous push rod. Oh, comes out all too easy actually. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So get your 8mm socket, because that has to go on there. And just get some pliers on that little knurled nut, nut there. You may not be able to see too well. Okay, so some pies on there. There's a little bit of rust there too. And uh, pop that on there. You want to screw it in. Some people say half. Others say one to one and a half, one to two. 
we're going to do one. <sighs> Holding those pliers firmly. It's going in. I think it's going in. Looks like it's going in. Maybe not. Yep, it's going in. Keep squeezing the pliers tightly. Moving on a bit. I'm have to reposition that. Hopefully, you can see this without the reservoir blocking the shot. I'm going to say that's about one turn. You need to go and road test it and make sure. So, pop him back in there and pop him back in. Again, being careful not to bend anything. If this doesn't solve your brake sticking problems, you can increase it to two turns, but don't exceed that. And the turn from which you came. That's all. So far, so good. Now repeat the process. Remembering to clip that back in. Anything else you've clipped, unclipped. Another possible cause of binding brakes could be your brake caliper slide pins that may not be sufficiently lubricated or may be binding. You can check out in my video about brake pad replacements as to how to go about that. These nuts don't have to be fastened very tightly. Just firm. I'm excited to see if this makes a difference. Probably not. <laughs> Just again using a 12 millimeter. Open end spanner. Not a very tight fit. Just do them up evenly both sides. Put your low brake fluid level sensor connector back on. Just pushes on and clips. And put your brake hoses back. Right, that part's done. And close the bonnet. All good if you're American. And just give the brakes a few pumps before you do anything. Make sure you test the brakes basically in your own driveway before you go driving too far. Once you make sure that the brakes are working, go for a decent drive and see if your problem persists. Find a quiet area where there's just no traffic around and find a slight incline. Put the vehicle in neutral and see if it will easily roll forward or backwards without the brakes binding. Oh, that's so much better. No drag at all. Not only will this fix greatly improve your fuel economy, but even more importantly, will prevent your brake pads prematurely failing and warping your rotors, which can be quite expensive, if not time consuming. Make sure, of course, you're always screwing in that rod, not out. 
and I'll tell you why that is if you're interested uh, because some years back I had two Corvettes one of which uh, was it had a brake booster that was faulty and everyone said oh you can't rebuild them I thought well I bet you can long story short I did and of course I had to adjust that rod but I adjusted it the wrong way I adjusted it out meaning it's pushing slightly on the brakes so long story short is I ended up boiling the brakes a testimony for how much power the car had <laughs> and uh, yeah ended up having to replace all four rotors and calipers which was a nice cheap exercise as you can imagine so always screw that rod in my advice to you is if it takes more than about two turns to screw in and you're still having the dragging brakes or well not dragging brakes uh, it's likely that the issue could be in the brake reservoir now you don't have to get a genuine Ford one in fact PBR made the units so you'd be flat out getting anything from Ford anymore for these cars but you can find them on eBay for $200 upwards for a brand new unit and they're pretty straightforward to fit the other thing I'd be looking for in that case would be that the slider pins that your calipers slide on may be bound up a bit they may have rust on causing that drag and I've also done a video which you'll see the link in at the end as well for how to replace the brake pads and how to properly install the calipers etc so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel I'm not generally a motoring channel but I've done quite a few videos on cars now especially this model and this brake fix pretty well would work with any model car uh, because they basically will work the same way all right cheers and i'm getting out of here because there's horse flies and they hurt <laughs> see ya horse flies